Okay, so I'm really not trying to start any family drama because I know a lot of my family members watch my channel, but like y'all, I honestly believe that I make the best Rice Krispie treats in my family. I'm just saying, like hands down, they the bomb. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I make them. Let's go. Okay, so right out the gate, we have to start with some salted butter. I love using salted butter in my Rice Krispie treats because when you pair it up with the marshmallows, it's just, oh my God, it's so good. And we're gonna brown this butter to kind of give it like a deeper caramelesque like flavor. When you add brown butter, when you make your Rice Krispie treats with brown butter, it's like an instant upgrade. So go ahead and brown that butter up. And while that butter is getting nice and golden, we're gonna move on to our marshmallows. Here is one of my secrets, you guys. Dandy's marshmallows, yes. Oh my God, I'm so glad I discovered these things. Because when I used to make my Rice Krispie treats, I would make homemade marshmallows. That was my secret, homemade marshmallows, it was the bomb. But this brand right here, there's no gelatin, no corn syrup, no artificial flavors, dyes, so it really does tastes like Rice Krispie treats made with homemade marshmallows. So, so bomb. Now we're gonna add in some regular marshmallows as well, just a little bit to kind of get some chewiness, but the base of our Rice Krispie treats is gonna be these Dandy's marshmallows. So we get the taste of homemade marshmallows without having to go through the hassle of making homemade marshmallows because that was the part that I dreaded about making my Rice Krispie treats in the past is that I had to make the marshmallows and yeah, ain't nobody got time for all that. And these marshmallows are much drier than um, regular marshmallows, so we can get away with using all of that luscious butter. Gotta have all that butter. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, now this is my cue to go ahead and add in my Rice Krispie cereal. You can use any kind of crispy, you know, crisp rice cereal here. Dump that right into your pot. All right, now we're just gonna mix this all up very, very gently. I kinda just like fold it a little bit and press it and fold it and press it down just like that. That usually helps get everything distributed perfectly. Now if you're thinking, wait a minute now, Monique, I don't like all those marshmallows in my Rice Krispie treats, like my youngest son, you can add in more cereal, but we like our Rice Krispie treats to be super stretchy and just, you know, full of marshmallows. Here's my other cup of marshmallows going in my regular gelatin marshmallows because the, the Dandy brand does not have any gelatin, so it doesn't really have a nice stretchiness to it. So yeah, I wanna add those little pockets of gooiness and stretchiness, so, you know, just a cup of the regular marshmallows. You don't want these to melt all the way, okay? You wanna put these in the pan when they're, you know, still kinda hold those marshmallows. They will melt down, but yeah, we don't wanna melt them just yet. So go ahead and dump this into your prepared pan and just press it on down, just like this right here. You can use a spatula, you can use your hands, whatever, you know whatever you wanna to use to get it pressed out. Don't do it too hard though because then you're gonna pack everything too firmly and you won't have those gooey pockets of marshmallows that is just the bee's knees. Okay, so once it has sat for about an hour's room temperature, go ahead and just slice it on up, cut it into squares. I like to cut it into squares and then wrap each square in saran wrap, plastic wrap, and then place it in a airtight container and they last for so long. They stay so fresh for so long that way. And these are always a bake sale favorite. They disappear so quick along with my no bake cookies. I'll put a link to those below as well. But just look how chewy, y'all, yes. Oh my God, and that brown butter, it's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later.